As teenagers, what is there to worry about? Plenty. I have a lot of friends that are worried about terrorism and violence. Peer pressure, drugs, alcohol. I think there's more competition nowadays to go to like the best college, to make the best SAT score since like everybody's trying to be the best. I've been running from practice to practice and schoolwork and sleep and everything, so it's a lot of pressure out there. I expect myself to do well. And then my parents know that I'm smart, so they expect me to do well too. Everybody expects something of you, and it's hard to live up to everybody else's standards. You want to be like better than everybody else, or I know I do. I want to, I want to be the, like on top of the pile. Sometimes I feel like I have so much stress on me, and at this age, I'm sh I should be like enjoying myself. But sometimes I don't feel like I'm enjoying life as it I should be. Actually, what's happened with these kids is that they don't think they're good enough. And somehow or another, they think if I can just get it right, get it right, get it right, have uh, all A's, all hundreds, you know, I will be okay. Many teens push themselves too hard, and then there's pressure from parents and teachers. There's a lot of competition out there, and there's a lot of push from adults and parents for children to do more. It's fun to be involved at school, in sports, the play, or band but it can get to be too much. Parents know that from experience, and they know that sometimes choices have to be made. You gotta do what you can and let the rest go. It's, it's a tough lesson though. It's a hard thing to learn. Kids don't often have the number of hours in a day to do what they need to do. So we can certainly help by looking at scheduling and cutting out things that aren't necessarily very essential. But when it comes to schoolwork, there isn't a lot that can be cut. There will always be homework, projects, and tests. Lizzie feels the stress physically whenever she takes a test. I stress. I have horrible stress. I will sit and contemplate over it. It will give me a headache. I get extremely sweaty. Like, my hands will, like, sweat. I won't even be able, like, to hold my pencil. I have to sit and wipe my hands and... And she's not alone. A lot of kids have serious anxiety before an exam. Sweats, uh, vomiting, uh, sleep disturbances. Uh, we see a lot of that. People get stressed out and they just totally like bomb a test. A lot of the time I'll like stay up really late and I'll like do flashcards and whatever and then like when it comes to the test I just sort of forget. According to one study, a protein called PKC may be responsible for short-term memory loss. Unpredicted stress or unexpected events over which we have no control can activate levels of PKC and cause some of the forgetfulness and the scatteredness that we all feel when we're really stressed. I think it's kind of validating that it's not just, oh, we're crazy and scattered, but there's really a reason why we tend to lose it a bit when we are, um, or, or not be more forgetful when we're overstressed and overscheduled. 